All right, guys, this is going to be the review of the Sony digital voice recorder that I have sitting right here. Now, if you want to go ahead and see the unboxing video of this Sony voice recorder, I'm going to go ahead and put a video, uh, not a video, but a link at the bottom. If you go ahead and click on that link, if you want to go and buy this thing, you can do that as well. There'll be a link down there as well. But the first thing that I want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and give you a quick little tour around it. So let's go ahead and start with the front since we're already looking at the front. So right here you have a little LCD screen right here to tell you all your information that you need to know. Um, right down here you have your folder, you have your men menu button right here, you have a, a play button and an enter button. You have your record button up and down, um, go back, go forward, stop. You have a, a marker button right here, down, down here you have your speaker. And then over here, you have your noise cut on and off, A, B buttons, you have a D, P, C button, this right here is to raise the speed or to lower the speed, so you need to turn it on and off, um, volume button, erase, one of the microphones, this happens to be the right one, right here, and at the top you have your headphone jack for monitoring, right here you have a um, microphone jack, for another microphone if you want to, if you want to plug in like one of those little um, microphones that clip onto your clothing you can do that right here right back here you have a stand comes up goes down there's only one level so there isn't like multiple levels or anything like that it's just all the way down all the way up okay so right over here you have your other microphone which is happens to be the left side right here you have an LED right there um, then right over here you have a USB port, USB 2.0. Then right here you have your um, Sony proprietary memory card slot or a micro SD. I'm actually going to go ahead and show that to you right now. So this is the slot right here. If you want to go ahead and look at different cards, this is a micro SD card. So this right here fit right down in here. Goes down in there like that. And now it's in there. Go ahead and press this here. Comes right back out. So that's the micro SD, and then this right here is the regular. Oh, this one doesn't fit. Check that out. This one doesn't fit. So I'm guessing this is a different kind of Sony memory card. Looks the same, has the same logo on it. See that? Same logo. Same exact logo, but it's just a different card. So yeah, that one right there doesn't fit. I thought it did. Never mind that though. Over here you have your on button and you have a hold button. You push it up, it holds it. Push it down, it turns it on. Like so, the light's gonna blink, and then now it's on. So now you're ready to record. Now, one of the things I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and let you guys listen to the audio quality. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and push the record button, and basically you're gonna hear a little sample of how this thing sounds. So here we go, record button. Now it's recording. It lights up red whenever it's recording, and then whenever you're playing it, it lights up green right here. Um, one thing right here about this audio recorder, it does say noise cut right here on the side, but that noise cut doesn't really cut out the noise. Um, it doesn't record it like that. It only pushes it out through the headphones. So if you have this turned on, if you have the noise cut turned on and you have a pair of headphones plugged into the headphone jack, you will hear the noise cut. So you will hear the, the noise, all that external noise that you don't want to hear. You will hear that get cut out, but it won't record it into the audio. So that's kind of a bad thing. So if you're buying this because you need something that cuts out external noise or something like that, and you saw on the side that it has the little noise cut, don't buy it because of that, because it doesn't cut out the noise at all. It only pushes that out to the headphones. So it cuts the noise inside the headphones, but it doesn't cut the noise that's being recorded. All that is just still there. Um, the software on the... The software as well doesn't work. It doesn't do a damn thing. Um, so the software sucks. The noise cut thing doesn't really work. It only works whenever you have the headphones plugged in or wherever you're listening to it from the speakers. Um, this little DPC thing, the speed up and speed down thing, I don't really get what that's used for. I guess they just put that on there just because they can. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty damn good noise um, audio recorder. It sounds really good, so that's one thing. It sounds a lot better than this camera. That's that's the main reason why I bought this because the the microphone inside the camera is good, but it's not the best. This right here is a lot better. 
You know, obviously I could have spent a little bit more money and got something a lot better than this, but I just didn't feel like doing it, so I just got I just went and got this right here. Um, it's decent for right now, but later on I am gonna be upgrading this. I think I paid like sixty something dollars for this thing right here as well. So and then on top of that it also comes with two gigs of memory built into it. It says it right here in the box. As a matter of fact, let me get the box real quick. Let me just show you that. So right here, if you look at it. Specs, um, these are the memory cards that it can take, go all the way up to 16 gigs, but somewhere on here it says it has 2 gigs already built into it, if I can see that, somewhere on this box it says it, let me look at the front real quick, yeah, 2 gigs right there. So it has two gigs already built into the thing. It's about 500 hours worth of audio recording time. So that is kind of cool about this. If you need a budget recorder, I guess you can go ahead and get this. It's not that bad. Um, it's pretty good for $60. Just remember, the noise cut doesn't really work. The software is a piece of shit. Don't even use the software. And other than that, it's a pretty good little recorder. That's going to be it for this review. There isn't really too much to talk about audio recorder. It records audio. It does a really good job at it. You're listening to the audio right now. That's why the red um, light right here is on. Um, if you want to go ahead and raise it, just press the little raise button and it raises it. And you can go back and start over again. Volume button up and down. You can also control the level of the two mics here. So you can raise that level or lower that level. Um, Right now I have it set on the lowest level, so that's where it's set on right now. And it is recording. I've been recording for 3 minutes and 48 seconds so far. Full battery life. I had this thing for like a while now. And the battery, the, the battery that it came with is still the battery that's inside it. I haven't replaced the battery since. So it has really good battery life as well. Um, it is really small, really light, really lightweight. Matter of fact, here's the battery right here. Let's just open it up. Batteries right down there. Those are the Sony batteries. Those are the batteries that came with this thing. And it hasn't failed me yet. So I'm going to keep using it until it breaks. And that probably is going to go ahead and get me a much more better one than this. But yeah, that's going to be it for this review. Um, if you want to go ahead and see more videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to like the video, go ahead and do that. Or leave a comment. Post that down below. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Peace out.